All right, welcome back to the shop. Been spending the week messing around with the new 24 Patriot, mocking it up here. Um, just want to let you know everything you see here is off my shelf except for the carbon pieces. That is the kit and the transmission. So let's go over the first things that obviously that we see are different. They shortened up these brackets right up to the end of the thing there. And then they moved the whole wheelie bar a little bit forward. They obviously didn't drill any holes here because, you know, testing and testing, you know you don't need any of these holes here. So other than that, the shock tower is completely redesigned. This is the V1 wheel version. Um, and it's thicker. I also notice that the geometry, and I'll show you why in a second, the shock is vertical. Same setup, it leans to the back a little bit. So what they did was, is they moved the toe blocks back and moved the tranny forward. As you can see, the links are straight with the axles being underneath them. As you can see, the trannies move forward because look at the links, they're leaning towards the back. I'll put the tranny in there for a minute. Another thing I noticed that I really like, it has adjustable rear track width. You can move the toe blocks in, and then you can also move these over one hole. All you need is to get to have them coming is the shorter drive shafts, and I'll be setting it up that way for the narrow bodies. Don't have to worry about the outer fender rubbing on the tire. You can just squeeze in the track width. Um, let me put the tranny in real quick and show you how much better the geometry and the alignment is for the axles and everything. Plus, it moves the engine and everything forward to help put Nord nose weight to the front. All right, now that I have the tranny out, you can also see that the riser has been totally, you know, redone. Has all three holes for the tranny already in the provisions. They really thought this kit really well through. As you can see, look how farther the tranny is ahead. I just made the axle straight, so you can see what they have done. Pretty cool. The only other thing I've noticed so far is um, they got a new front bumper. I don't like it, so I am going to use my old one. Everything else here, like I said, guys, is off the shelf. I'm so glad I just built the second car except for the carbon. That would be this, this, and that. Real good feature here. When I said I broke my chassis plate when I hit the walls, I broke it right here. So again, R&D, they made it much beefier up here. They also added a little, I mean, other cars may have this, I don't know. I'm new to the B6, my first whole year. They put a little groove in there to lay the, the servo wire. Got a brand new shock tower. Again, redesigned and a little bit thicker. Maybe four mil instead of three mil. And it's got these little swoopy swoops. And the last thing is, since they moved the back arms back to create the geometry, now you can take this whole thing and move the arms, the servo, everything, the whole front piece. You can take this whole unit with the servo and everything and move it forward. Again, tranny forward, front move forward on the same chassis plate. You know, they cut it up a little different, but I do believe it's the same plate as this. Just lightened. Access holes, easy to get our big fingers in there. But yeah, when I get it together, when it's in the same shape as this, we'll see if it's actually lighter. That's what we really wanna know. For me anyways, I'm all about the weight. Y'all have a great weekend and enjoy the race. Okeechobee be popping off.